Welcome to another startup and complete car documentation. What we're looking at today is a 2012 Cadillac CTS Coupe. This CTS Coupe is painted in white diamond tricoat. You do have integrated touchpad door handles, exclusive to the coupe body style. Frameless windows. The door panels do have storage areas. This one does have a premium Bose sound system. Of course, you get power windows, locks, and mirrors. I mean, it's a Cadillac after all. And this is the electronic door release button, but if the battery were to go dead, you can mechanically open it via here. I do apologize, this one's still a bit dirty, but I didn't want to pass the opportunity up to film this before it got sold. Leather seats are standard with the Performance Collection, and this one's sporting the light titanium interior color scheme. Both front seats are fully powered and two-stage heated. And now that we're behind the wheel, let's go ahead and start the engine. On the key fob, it's pretty faded, but you have the buttons for lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic. Now this does have a form of keyless ignition, but it's not a push button. So what you gotta do is keep the key fob on you in the car and this little thing right here, twist it like a key. And you also have to have your foot on the brake, as if it were a push button. The CTS was a mid-sized executive car sold by Cadillac that replaced the Cadillac Catera. The model was produced over the span of three generations from model years 2003 through 2019. It in turn was replaced by the Cadillac CT5 for 2020. It was at one time Cadillac's entry-level model, but that changed when the smaller ATS debuted in the early 2010s, itself being replaced by the CT4. After that, the CTS served as sort of a middle ground between the smaller and larger Cadillac models. The CTS is also notable for being the first Cadillac model to get the exciting high-performance Cadillac V-Series treatment. This 2012 model we have here represents the CTS's second generation, which was produced in some form from model years 2008 through 2015. Riding on the General Motors Sigma 2 platform, the second gen CTS was also the only generation to be made in more body styles than just a sedan. Alongside the second gen CTS sedan, which debuted for 2008, you also had a five door station wagon variant, which debuted for 2010, and also this, the two door CTS Coupe. The Coupe body style of the second gen CTS arrived for 2011, and also marked the first time Cadillac sold a two door personal luxury coupe since the Eldorado ended production after 2002. For 2009, the second gen CTS got the V treatment, and those versions were packing over 550 horsepower courtesy of a 6.2 liter supercharged V8. Over the next couple years, Cadillac would make CTS V versions of all three second gen CTS body styles. Yes, even the wagon. 2015 was the last year for the second gen CTS, as the third generation had actually already been on sale for a year. And for 2015, the only remaining second-gen CTS you could get was the CTS V two-door coupe. But now let's focus on the 2012 model year CTS. In the US for 2012, the CTS was made in all three body styles, sport sedan, sport wagon, and coupe. Three different engines were offered overall across the lineup. First, there was a 3 liter V6 with 270 horsepower and was only available on the CTS sedan and wagon. Then you have a 3.6 liter V6 with 318 horsepower, which is optional on sedans and wagons and standard on coupes. Finally, the high performance CTS V used a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 with 556 horses, 
and for 2012, all three body styles are available in CTS-V form. As far as transmissions go, most CTSs have a 6-speed automatic, although a 6-speed manual can also be had on the CTS-V. A 6-speed manual is also offered on rear-wheel drive base 3.0-liter V6 sedan models for 2012 as well, but those seem to be quite the unicorns. Available drivetrains include rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive, although the second-gen CTS-Vs are rear-wheel drive only. Trim packages for the 2012 CTS Coupe include standard, performance collection, and premium collection, I believe this one is a performance. Those three trims I just mentioned are of course not counting the CTS-V. Back in 2012, the CTS Coupe was competing with rivals like the Audi A5, Mercedes C-Class Coupe, BMW 3 Series Coupe, and Infiniti G37 Coupe. First off is the gauge cluster, which houses a tachometer, speedometer, fuel gauge, temperature gauge, and oil pressure gauge. Total of five analog gauges. There's also a digital info display within it, which can be gone through via the buttons right here. Quite a lot of stuff. Not going to show everything, but you get lots of info. It has a three-spoke design, leather-wrapped, multifunctional steering wheel. There are sport grips at 10 and 2, and comfort grips around the rest of the rim. As for controls, on this side you have your cruise control, and on this side you have your audio enhanced free phone controls. The source button for that is also on this side. The steering wheel is tilt and telescopic. We have an air vent, information display controls, panel dim. On this side, you have your exterior lighting stock. And on this side, you have your wiper stock. Going down the center of the interior, you have your radio head unit right here. This is the display. Shows all the information. These are your preset buttons. Volume power and tuning knob. An analog clock. Air vents. Passenger airbag indicator. Traction control switch. Hazard switch. Some more of your physical radio controls. It has an AM, FM, XM stereo and a CD player. Below that are all the controls for your dual zone automatic climate control. Behind this cover is a little bit of storage and a power outlet. The vehicle's parking brake is electronically operated. There is a two-tiered center console. There's an aux port and a power outlet in this part. The glove box is lockable. Both sun visors have vanity mirrors and lights. OnStar, auto dimming rear view mirror, your red lighting. This is how the screen works. Of course, more well equipped models have a big screen with navigation, that kind of stuff. With that said, we'll go ahead and roll down the driver's window and take a look at the engine bay. Both of these windows are fully automatic.
standard on the CTS Coupe is this set of 18-inch alloy rims. Powering the non-V-Series CTS Coupe for 2012 is a 3.6-liter naturally aspirated V6 engine. This dual-overhead cam 24-valve power plant features direct injection and variable valve timing. As for output, it produces 318 horsepower at 6,800 RPM and 275 pound-feet of torque at 4,900 RPM. Delivering that power to the rear wheels of this CTS is a 6-speed automatic transmission with a manual mode. Running on regular unleaded with an 18-gallon fuel tank, EPA estimates are about 18 MPG city and 27 MPG highway. Actually pretty impressive for a V6. It uses a short and long arm front suspension and a multi-link rear setup. Stopping the CTS are four-wheel vented disc brakes. I believe curb weight for coupe models can vary from around 3,900 to 4,100 pounds. Now we'll check out the back seats. Both front seats have storage jeanettes on the back. You have rear climate vents, also a little bit of storage and a power outlet. No folding center armrest, but you do get some cup holders. Speakers back here and your code hooks. So, space back here, I'm about six foot one, and normally I'd put the driver's seat where I'd have it if I was driving, but this is a coupe, and it is nice how you get these little these controls here to move the seat in front of you however you want to get out. So, this is about as far back as I can get with having some amount of leg room you might have to be a pretty small person to be able to drive it like that so i can't really gauge but nonetheless uh headroom is not good i have to really bend my neck down my head's hitting the ceiling so that's just one of the disadvantages of a coupe but if you buy a coupe you're getting it because it just looks awesome not for you know Oh, I'm going to buy a two-door coupe so I can haul all my friends around, you know. Yeah, you buy a two-door coupe, you just love how... You, they look they look cool. And I love how this CTS coupe looks, gener, this generation. Almost looks like a concept car, especially from the back. dual exhaust
The trunk of the CTS Coupe offers 10.5 cubic feet of space. You do have 60-40 split folding in rear seats if you need more space as well. And as you saw earlier, the fuel cap is located on the passenger side. Anyhow, thanks for checking out this tour of this 2012 Cadillac CTS. And as always, stay on the lookout for future tours.